And so welcome to my presentation about my proposal um, to improve the advertising of money supermarkets this morning. Right, as an overview of money supermarkets, right, yeah, as money supermarket is a price comparison company that compares price for a whole range of services, including car insurance, mortgages, energy and uh, electricity bills, and many more. And this helps customers save money when they find a cheaper deal. Uh, and uh, the present demographic is people aged 25 to 50, and the psychographic is people who have very busy lives, such as students or people with jobs. Yeah, yeah, and that's what's made them families, and so they're very busy time of schedule as well, they're spending time with their families rather than dealing with bills. Uh, yeah, but, but this means that they have tight schedules and need a quick and easy way to save costs. Uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why they wanted a rebrand was because they were split from the mother company. I wanted to pick people. Uh, I wanted to pick people's anxiety in a comical way. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 so instead of having characters such as Action Man, uh, they wanted to relate to customers' anxiety about bills. Uh, 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 so they changed their logo and they featured Bruno Puddles in the adverts. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, that's bit, uh, 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 this is all part of our rebranding project to stray away from the TV, from the from the traditional press comparison services. The new campaign by Engine, as most of market has been trying to make the website much easier to access to customers, uh, so that they find a great deal which will ease their stress in the already chaotic and pressurizing world. Right. So, and uh, there's the needs and problems with the advertising money supermarket. Right. But the honest adverts which features character section man have received far more views on YouTube. Uh, yeah, they had, they had that featuring the character Skeletor dancing we, um, uh, received a 1.6 million views on YouTube. Uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, but whereas the new advert, which features an adult woman filling out the house due to the overload of bills, has only received 18,000 views on YouTube. I mean, the message is clear. Um, but um, I, basically, I, think, I think the improvement is clear. I think when you see back, you need to bring back the comical characters to gain more fame on YouTube and on social media as well. And so, yeah, I, I think people miss those kind of comical uh, characters that they featured. And so I, th I think a good advertising technique would, would, be, uh, would be to bring those back. Anyway, as many as the market could also sell toys, but then the characters like compare the market uh, does so. Uh, you know, the children make the, uh, uh, to the, um, uh, so that the children make the parents more aware of the brand. So it's, yeah, uh, basically, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically if you target the children first, and then they'll warn their parents about the perhaps make the parents more aware of the brand, and the parents may even uh, uh, the parents may even, uh, even consider switching to many supermarkets. A good tactic to uh, target children there, and this way, many supermarkets can uh, can uh, so it may see an increase in customers. Right, and solving the problem, I propose that many supermarket creates a new brand, uh, a new uh, a brand new character called Captain Khan, and this comical 18th century English Navy officer will feature in a campaign on sunny beaches to personalise the word Khan, to visualise how easy life will seem once customers have found a better deal. Uh, Captain Khan will also say posh funny captions. I love bring back the humour, and the captions are thinking of more um, more comic sounds that kind of same kind of uh, same kind of uh, beach feels with the calm sensation. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. As I said, choose a Georgian naval captain because in June 2016 the British people voted to leave the European Union by 52% to 48%. Uh, yeah, and therefore, it seems a tactical marketing move in many supermarkets restores a little English national pride into their campaign uh, that will be felt by both from Brexiters and Remainers. I also propose that colours money supermarkets should be beaches depicted in both daylight and sunset. Uh, like the yeah, the yeah, like the yeah, like with light blue colours uh, and purple colours. And most customers would rather spend time on the beach with the families, uh, uh, as well as um, as well as well as stressing about bills. And so, what could be more relaxing than images of beaches to advertise the easiness of money supermarket? Uh, as the toys to come, I'll I'll captain I'll, I'll, I'll captain calm could also be given free to customers to raise more awareness of the brand. As uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, like what Cabana Market does, and they've kind of sold in the meerkats to it, and that's been quite successful. Though. Right, so, uh, basically, these are my examples of images. You know, we've got the naval officer here, we've got a load of nice calm beaches to further create that sensation of calm. I've got a ship there, basically, just to um, kind of his own personal uh, kind of vehicle. Uh, yeah, I've also got the um, beaches and things and sunset like purple colours to further create that sensation of calmness, etc. Right, justification is using different media platforms. Right, uh, 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 right, it's uh, uh, like the of people in their 20s and 30s, the site should be advertised across social media channels and Instagram to keep the cost relatively low on this. Uh, yeah, as much, uh, as much of the younger generation are aware of these channels, and many other, uh, as many other campaigns, such as the Starbucks Opportunity Campaign, have been very successful in, in, in advertising through this method. As rich people in their late 30s and 40s, uh, as advertising across the newspapers such as The Guardian, The Times, The Telegraph and The Sun will help to reach this type of demographic of all social grades. 
And uh, yeah, so I mainly going to emphasize through the newspapers and magazines because many of the type of audience in houses uh, and the families which students really have. Right, so the total budget. So advertising through Instagram can cost up to $0.20 to $2 per click. And seeing as there are not many businesses in this industry, the maximum cost per ad will be about 0.77p in pounds. I'm planning to post about 10 images in the videos to OEM, which will up to, uh, which will up to about £7.17. Uh, £7. As people in their 20s will be very familiar with Instagram, so yeah, it's basically this is a good way to target like, that audience as they use Instagram quite a lot. Right, it's basically, uh, advertising costs the more established newspapers, such as Sun or The Guardian, can, uh, can, uh, 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 can range from uh, £12 to £480, depending on how many inches. Uh, yeah, so basically most plans are kind of um, advertised uh, through uh, the Times, Telegraph, and uh, a few of like Vogue as well to kind of capture the audience. Uh, yeah, as also um, as also uh, uh, as many other um, like newspaper prints such as the Internet Guardian, for example, is a good one to use, uh, and also the Times, Telegraph, Spectator, uh, which are, which will add up um, a total to about a thousand pounds roughly advertising. And so I'm planning to advertise across the Times so to reach the middle class and lower middle class demographic as uh, target all that social all those social grades. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just coming back to social media. Uh, yes, like I may also use Facebook and Twitter as well, Facebook, Twitter, and um, Snapchat as well to advertise the campaign to reach more of that younger generation. Uh, yeah, which will cost about an average um, about seven pound seventy, but um, times by another ten, which is about seventy pounds on uh, on those all three media platforms. And so that'll uh, yeah, that will cost about. Uh, one thousand one hundred and seventy pounds all in. That, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Thanks okay. very much.